Hi. Thought I'd do an update on the PSDR. Um, I think I'd mentioned in some of my updates that I have at different times had the waterfall display working and the audio working. Um, now for the first time I have both working. So I'll have the computer recording audio. It's not processing, it's just being used to visualize the audio that's coming out um, and, and record it so you can hear it. Um, since the PSDR itself, at least the PSDR1 that I've got here, doesn't have any audio gain really. Um, I'm using a little transistor amplifier. Um, but it uh, doesn't sound great, but it, it's definitely working. Anyway, let's take a look. It's not getting too, excuse me, too close to it. If you get really close like this, I'm gonna right on top of it and it's too much, but I think about, uh, about here, about an inch away, inch and a half, seems to be just about right. Seems like it's good, good and clear and clean. I like it. So right now we're listening to 7.2 megahertz. Um, we're listening to lower sideband, so when you see uh, activity just below the marker right there, we're listening to the first um, about 2 kilohertz of it. Um, another thing I'd like to demonstrate right here is the uh, audio filtering and a little bit of the menu system. It may be hard to see in the video, but there's a little red line right there. Um, but that, this bottom number is currently the upper limit of the audio filter. So you can see when I turn it down, the high frequencies are cut off until you really can't hear anything. The uh, number up here, the zero, is the lower cutoff. So as I turn this up, the low frequencies are attenuated. Um, this is useful for like using Morse code and things where you want to narrow in on a very uh, narrow band of frequencies. This also demonstrates the menu system I have in mind. Um, what I'm doing here, a little bit differently than in one of my previous videos, is when you click the encoder button and turn the dial, this little red line, I don't know if you can see it clearly, um, moves to different items on the screen and then once it's there you can let go of the encoder button and now turning the knob changes the setting. So my goal here is to make an interface that um, can really be intuitively and quickly operated um, without having to really remember anything. Um, you know there's no menu system to operate and uh, I think it can be done pretty quickly. So, my goal is to pretty much have the entire radio operated from just one knob. And uh, so far, so good. It may, it may start to get a little cumbersome once I add more things, but we'll see. Here's what it looks like on the, the computer screen when you mess with the audio filter. So here's increasing the lower limit. And playing with the upper limit. So at this point, um, once I get some anti-aliasing filters and onboard audio amplification, um, I'll be able to take this thing out in the field and actually use it. So I'm pretty excited. Thanks.